Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Make the Best Choice channel with your host, Dan V. Today, we're going to focus on the airband features for listening to aircraft and air traffic control of this RT-470L transceiver from Radtel. Uh, this is a very capable radio. It can transmit on ham radio frequencies. It can listen to other bands. I'm going to talk about the total functionality of this radio and what it can do in another video. I'll place the link to that video in the show notes below. But today it's the air band. Now I've been listening to the air band since I was a kid. Somewhere in later grade school, when I had a paper route, I took my paper route money, some of it, and went to Radio Shack, Shack and bought a Jetstream radio from Radio Shack, which was AM and Airband, so I could listen to the airplane. So I've been listening to the Airband, to airplanes and air traffic control on VHF for more than 50 years. Hard to believe, but it's true. Recently, I was looking around for a good small Airband receiver and tried to find what's the best one under $50. There may be other ones that are better, especially ham radio receivers and transceivers that include the Airband. Those work very well, like Yesu, ICOM, Kenwood and others. Um, now, the smallest airband receiver I know of is this one. This is from Han Rong Da, and uh, it's the HRD-767. Amazing. You could have AM, FM, and airband in this small radio. Now, I've been to this factory. I spent 23 years living in Hong Kong, moved back to the USA in July of 2023, and part of my job was making electronics in China, specifically radios a few other things. So I've been to the Han Rong Da factory and it's north of Shenzhen, China. Great people, the owner and the chief engineer, they love radio. So they've been making some uh, cutting edge radios recently with a lot of frequency coverage. This one was a great idea. Unfortunately, when I tested it on the airband, it was easily overloaded, uh, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, I might use this receiver all the time, but the receiver front end overloads uh, in my testing, so I've just set it aside and occasionally I'll power it up and see what I can hear, but I don't recommend this radio. I wish I could. It's amazingly small. It'd be great for travel. So today the topic is the Radtel RT470L. Now the reason I chose this is several. There are several reasons, okay? First of all, the price is amazing, all right? I just checked on Amazon would you believe $25 on Amazon is 14% off the normal price? I paid $27 for this radio. Right now, it's $25. So just for the airband capability, it's worth that. And I'll explain why in, right now. First of all, I have several other small handhelds, like from Baofeng. I've listened to others um, uh, on Internet, YouTube videos, listen to people play the airband. One of the consistent problems with all the other radios I tried, except this one, oops, hang on there, Baofeng, is that most of these walkie-talkies, the manufacturers do not implement an AGC. Now, what is AGC? Many of you know. It's in almost every receiver that's made today and for the last many decades. AGC is automatic gain control. So the signals are going to vary, obviously, between airplanes, and controllers, you're going to have different signal levels, and you need a circuit that compensates for this difference in signal strength. Well, for some reason on the Baofengs and many of the others, all the others as far as I know, they do not have an AGC activated. So when you try to use the radio, uh, for example, let's let's go ahead and listen to this Baofeng, see what we can This is approach control from Baltimore International Airport. I'm about 18 miles away. Let's just listen to the audio here on the Baofeng. Uh, 119.7 is what we're listening to. Of course, the watch frequency, 121.5 I have in, which should be quiet unless something important is really going on. I'm going to place this relatively close to the camera and the microphone, and uh, hopefully... Okay, could you hear that? It's almost all distortion. Now, on medium levels, medium level signals and weak signals, the distortion is much less. But on strong signals, especially if you're near an airport, uh, doing an air show, something like that, 
the audio is going to be very, very distorted. And this is very common on these inexpensive Chinese radios that include airband. They didn't implement the AGC. But Radtel has discovered that problem and done something about it. The RT470L is the best radio I've found for the airband, primarily because the audio is excellent and the AGC works. Now, one little caveat, it isn't perfect because on a strong signal, at the very beginning of a transmission, the AGC takes a second or so to kick in. And so at the beginning of a signal where there's uh, a strong uh, uh, presence of an aircraft or air traffic control, whatever, it's going to overload. It's going to be distorted right at the very beginning, at the very first second. But other than that, this radio sounds beautiful on the airbed. It's sensitive. It's selective. And for $25, for listening, for listening to the airband, there isn't a better radio that I know of for the price. Okay, I can't get too close to the microphone because the microphone is generating that noise that you heard. So I've got to keep it a little distance away. Um, so I want to highly recommend the Radtail RT470. If you're looking for a great airband receiver to take with you to the airport when you're traveling to go to air shows, whatever. It's going to be hard to beat. Now, I don't recommend using the stock antenna that comes with this radio for airband. Uh, you've got some choices. Radtel makes a specific antenna designed for the airband. It's available on Amazon and at their website. I'll send the link to Amazon for the airband antenna designed for the airband and can be used very easily with this radio or other radios with the airband that have an SMA connector on them. And I, I recommend it. It's about the same as the tri-band antennas I've tried. So for ham radio, we have, uh, we have tri-band antennas like this one that for two meters, 220, and 440. And they work pretty well also on the airband. So if you're a ham and you want to get one of these radios, not just for the airband, but also to listen and, uh, and transmit on two meters, 220, and 440 megahertz if you have a ham license, then you're going to want to get uh, one of the tri-band antennas that works on those bands and will work well also on the airband. I'll also give you links below in the notes. Southwest 1220 there, landing in uh, Baltimore Airport. So let me encourage you. This is going to be uh, oh, almost no-brainer for $25. Just for the airband, it's worth it. All right, not to mention the other frequencies this radio covers. I'm going to talk about those in another video. I'll put the link below in the notes. Talk about what else it can do in terms of ham radio, marine band, weather band. Etc. which actually easy to get the weather band here too. Uh, it has a dedicated function to listen to the weather band frequencies, so you don't have to program, that, program them in. The, uh, audio, so the audio is excellent. I love the display. It's much better than another Radtel like this one that has a simple uh, black and white display. This is RT860, which also covers, sorry, backlight's not on in that one, also covers uh, air band and ham bands, but also shortwave. I have a, a link in the notes below to this radio if you're interested in this. It does single sideband on shortwave, CW, AM, medium wave, long wave, shortwave, air band, everything. It basically covers everything. But for air band specifically, I still prefer this one. Uh, the value added features, of course, are great. You've got USB charging, you've got a large capacity battery, and uh, you've also got a really great build quality. I really like the build. I really like the build quality of the Radtels. If you have any questions, do let me know about down below. Happy to answer questions. Let's start a discussion. If you have found uh, other radios that maybe are also good, uh, have good sensitivity, and have good audio, uh, then be sure to let us know as well. Thank you for watching. 
Dan V's Make the Best Choice channel. And believe me, the Radtel RT470L is probably the best choice you can make for listening to the airband on a budget. Unless you want to spend three or $400 for a radio that's made for the airband, that's another story. Uh, enjoy your three or $400 radio. I like mine for $25. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can keep getting this information out to many people as possible. Take care and God bless.